I think in my year as chairman, uh, it really will be about helping Alexander Zuniak uh, make the transition, replacing uh, Tony Tyler. Um, the leadership of IATA is critical. The chairman plays a supporting role to the director general, CEO of IATA, and that's, that's what I will be doing. Uh, I will be there to assist Alexander to make sure that uh, he takes over and leads uh, IATA from where Tony has left off. Uh, I think we're very fortunate to have had Tony as a leader and I think we're extremely fortunate to be able to replace Tony with Alexander. He is uh, absolutely determined to make uh, his role as the Director General of IATA a success. He's passionate about the industry. Uh, he has a good business background. Uh, he's been in the aviation industry only for a short while but he understands it very well. Uh, he's a, a great diplomat as well. And uh, I think the uh, organization uh, can look forward to strong, uh, purposeful, direct leadership from Alexander, and uh, I will be there to assist him. I think Ireland is different in the airline industry because it uh, recognizes the critical nature of aviation as a, a small island off the west coast of Europe, beside the Atlantic, aviation was fundamental to the development of the country here. Uh, and I think we've got to give credit to the likes of Tony Ryan, who uh, saw the opportunity that existed in aircraft leasing uh, and started uh, Guinness Peak uh, Aviation, one of the big uh, leasing uh, giants of its day. Uh, but it, uh, I think, created uh, an industry here in Ireland. and. Uh, you know, we work hard to promote aviation. The government in Ireland has recognised that there's huge economic value uh, to the Irish economy in having leasing companies uh, based here. And, uh, you know, you've seen Ryanair uh, develop in Ireland and become a, a true, you know, g uh, giant in the, uh, the industry. Uh, so, uh, you know, I think aviation is recognised for its contribution, but also for the, the critical support that it gives uh, to the economy, making Ireland uh, accessible. And uh, without aviation, you know, Ireland would not have developed uh, the way it has. Financial viability has been important, but environmental viability is absolutely critical because if we've to prove that we can grow financially, we've got to prove that we can do that on a sustainable basis. I think the industry, particularly through IATA, has done a lot to demonstrate that we are determined to address this issue. Uh, the AGM in Dublin will be a key milestone in relation to that. The industry has shown great leadership, uh, but we need to continue to do that. And we need to look to the ICAO Assembly in September, October uh, to take the opportunity that exists to introduce a global offsetting uh, mechanism that will replace the risk of this patchwork quilt that we've seen develop in recent years. So I'm very optimistic that the uh, progress that has been made over the past five years uh, can continue and that we will see a uh, unique development uh, this year at ICAO when uh, our industry uh, through the leadership of IATA uh, can demonstrate globally that we are committed to environmental uh, sustainability like no other industry. Air passenger duty in the UK is a ridiculous tax. Uh, the Chancellor of the Exchequer continues to uh, deny the facts that are there that would demonstrate that if this tax were removed the UK economy would benefit. It's a tax on business, it's a tax on tourism, it's a tax on everything the UK is trying to do. So the UK spends hundreds of millions of pounds trying to attract tourists to the UK. Actually they do a good job, but then they charge them to leave uh, and that just doesn't make sense. They're trying to be competitive on a global scale but they're taxing business people who are trying to sell UK goods and products around the world. So the evidence is clear, if this tax were removed it would give a boost to the UK GDP, a boost to employment and we continue to call on the Chancellor of the Exchequer not to reduce the tax but to scrap the tax altogether and follow the example of countries like here in Ireland, who removed their aviation tax and, and look what happened. Uh, aviation 
growth has been phenomenal since then. 2015 was another record year for Ireland on the back of a recovering economy. But critical to that was the government's decision to remove the passenger tax in Ireland. Thank you.